get started. Oh, and the, look at this little punchline here. Uh, I started out with 14 beverages. Next season, I'll probably have two or three, just as uh, supplementary antennas to some of the others. Tim tells me he doesn't have any anymore, and he had about the same, about 14. So there definitely is something better, a lot better. So why receiving antennas? On the low bands, 160, 80, and even 40, unless you have a really large Yagi array, receiving antennas offer significantly better receiving performance. And for many of us, our transmitting signals are fine, but sometimes we have difficulty listening through pileups on the low bands because the signals from the US are so strong and the DX isn't very strong. Or there are local thunderstorms or who knows what that is getting in the way. So receiving antennas are very helpful, and they, they can have amazing performance in small spaces. And if you look at the technical performance requirements for transmitting antennas and receiving antennas, they are different. Stated simply, we care about only one thing for transmitting antennas. We want to be loud. We want to be heard by the other guy at the other end. So for transmitting antennas, to simplify things drastically, we only care about how efficient they are, how much power they can handle, and if they have any gain. That's all we care about. But for receiving antennas, we care about a lot more. We care about how narrow the main lobe is so that we can steer that lobe to the signal we want to hear and away from the signals we don't want to hear. We care about all the side lobes on the receiving antenna so all the noise and QRM is reduced compared to the signal we want to hear. Um, and we might want to build an antenna, a very sophisticated antenna, that is practical to build. Some of these large transmitting arrays on 160 and 80 meters are very difficult to align properly because of a technical characteristic called uh, mutual impedance. If you ever try to build a large transmitting phased array for 160 or 80 meters, you'll have some fun trying to get the elements of that array properly aligned.